will send a follow-up email to you in a couple of days. I, I need to recover, all right? So I'll uh, just to, uh, to update you on anything. As, as I've said before, anything related to payroll personnel, I am not your guy, all right? So if you need, need to follow up with some of that, you know what to do. Uh, those of you that have graduated, congratulations. I expect I'll see us. Oh. Uh, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Call, call them. What's <laughs> payday? Yes. Can we all say good afternoon when Provost Junior says good afternoon? I think that's. <laughs> He's been asking for it. Yeah. I feel bad for the guys. So one more thing, safe travels home if you're going home or someplace else, uh, and uh, hope I see a lot of you in the fall, all right? That's it, that's tuned.
to call to order the commencement of the School of Management of the State University of New York at Binghamton. Everyone, please rise as you are able. We welcome you to join vocalist Kelsey Watts in singing the national anthem. Everyone, please be seated. As Associate Dean of the School of Management, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the School of Management Commencement Ceremony. <laughs> this is a special ceremony as we bring together our baccalaureate candidates as well as their family and friends. Congratulations to you all. Before we proceed with our ceremony, I would like to honor the School of Management's Dean for the past 21 years, Dean Upender Dillon, who passed away in April after a short illness. Please join me in a moment of silence for our beloved friend and colleague, Upender Dillon. Thank you. As we begin the ceremony, I would like to welcome members of the Binghamton University Council who are joining us today. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Catherine Grant Madigan, Chair. Linda Beamer. Carolyn Sandleitner, Student Representative. I would also like to introduce our other special guests who sit with us on the stage this afternoon. They will stand as I call their name. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. President Harvey Stenger. Donald Neiman, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Sharon Bunch, Professional Staff Senate. Scott Craver, Grand Marshal Associate Professor, Undergraduate Director, Electrical and Computer Engineering, Chair, Faculty Senate Executive Committee. Scott Foyer, Alumni Association President. David Hatami, Student Association President and Student Speaker. Karen Jones, Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. John Cook, Vice President for Advancement. Pamela Mission, Platform Party Marshal, Associate Professor, Public Administration, Faculty Advisor to the President. Allison Nignamoy, Assistant Director for Dual Diploma Programs. Brian Rose, Vice President for Student Affairs. Robert Swan, honorary degree recipient. Please join me in applauding these special guests. Let me also recognize all of the esteemed faculty members who have mentored and guided our graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate today. 
Will all faculty on the stage and in the audience please rise as you are able? Please join me as we applaud their support of and dedication to the success of our students. I would also like to thank the Binghamton University Wind Symphony, our vocalist, and the Broome County Celtic Pipe and Drums for their participation in today's celebration. Thank you. Again, welcome to our celebration of the School of Management Class of 2022. And if any class deserves congratulations, it's this class. For most of you, it was the first year experience you expected arriving on campus in fall 2018. And then, spring 2020. Online classes, social distancing, face coverings, and then more online classes, social distancing, and face coverings. But now, a strong finish with the ability to gather in person with friends and family to celebrate your success. The class of 2020 might just be the most flexible and adaptive class in SOM history. And although this class has had a path through college like none other, the flexibility and adaptiveness you displayed in achieving your goals will be useful through your careers. Leaders embrace change, find new ways to solve old problems, propose groundbreaking pathways, and help followers do the same. We have seen each of you develop leadership skills, advanced analytic capabilities, and professionalism across countless classes, case competitions, and the projects you've participated in. You delivered thoughtful solutions, and innovative ideas, and you impressed faculty and judges that, let's face it, are pretty hard to impress. We feel confident that as the hypothetical cases are replaced by actual organizational challenges, you are well prepared and poised to be change agents and lead by example. Because of your achievements and those of our alumni and faculty, the School of Management is recognized among the elite public business schools in the nation. This year, the School of Management was ranked top 10 public business schools in the country. As you pursue your careers, I encourage you to remain engaged with the school. Please give back by mentoring students, speaking in classes, recruiting our graduates, and advising student organizations and clubs. Your investment and support will help us fulfill our vision of being the premier public business school. In closing, an adaptation of an Abraham Lincoln quote typified how Dean Upender Dillon led the school. I like to see a person proud of the place in which they live. I like to see a person live so that their place will be proud of them. We hope this quote stays with you as you make your way in the world. Remember, SOM will always be your place. We are proud of you. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce President Stenger. Welcome to our celebration of the Binghamton University School of Management Class of 2022. Congratulations, graduates. I also want to recognize the faculty members who have mentored, mentored and guided our graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate today. Thank you so much. And a special welcome as well to the parents, family, and friends who are here today to share in the joy of watching a loved one reach a rare milestone. Your support and involvement have been crucial to our graduate success, ensuring that the occasional challenges of writer's block, projects that didn't work out, 
and lower than expected test scores were never too difficult to overcome. Thank you, families. The degree our graduates are receiving today is a sign that tells the world that they have achieved the level of expertise that will allow them to advance or commence in their chosen discipline and have the prerequisite knowledge to add to the quality of life we lead as global citizens. Graduates, please think back to the start of your journey, to your first days at the university. Entering college fresh out of high school, you began by choosing a field of study. Perhaps accounting or business administration seemed like a good career, or you saw it as a stepping stone, perhaps, to an MBA. Of course, there are probably a few of you who took the daring choice of undeclared before settling on your vocation, and then you chose to double or even triple major because you already had the credits and the grades needed to get you into Binghamton's most competitive school. But each of you spent the next few semesters gradually delving into the theories and practices of your discipline, and your studies became both broader and more intricate. Your work became more exacting, your scholarship more penetrating, and your perspectives and understandings began to focus through the lens of your discipline. In short, you became passionate about your work. What I've discovered, and I hope that you have too, is that developing a passion involves hard work. You must deeply engage yourself in a subject, learning its inner workings, and investing your time and intelligence. And now, you are ready for your next step. Some of you will be diving right into your careers, while others, others of you may be going on to graduate or professional schools, many of you right here in SOM. But regardless of what path you take, I hope that Binghamton has allowed you to find your passion and that you will continue to renew and rediscover your love for learning, and in, do, in so doing, let Binghamton inform your future years. Your nation and the world needs your talents. We live in a world that needs capable professionals who have broad understandings and perspectives, who want to work to improve our businesses and institutions, and who have dreams of an entrepreneurial future. In short, we need people who can think critically and analyze precisely, and who can address complex ideas and address difficult challenges, and who have been educated in a way that encourages and develops an ethical perspective in business. We live in a challenging world where finding the right answer will always be difficult. But I'm confident that the class of 2022 will rise to these challenges because I've already seen how our graduates are ambitious and dedicated, and more importantly, are committed to improving society one decision at a time. So let me be the first to welcome you to the next stage of your career. I look forward to learning of your many future successes and I hope that you will remain steadfast members of the Binghamton University community. Congratulations to all of you. It's now my pleasure to introduce our Provost, Don Neiman. Good afternoon. You've got it. How about the rest of you? Good afternoon. All right, it's my great pleasure to be among the first to congratulate you on your truly remarkable accomplishment. You are a remarkable group of students. At the time you applied to Binghamton, you demonstrated that you had the academic ability to succeed at one of the best public universities in the United States. And since you arrived on our campus, whether you came as a first year student or as a transfer student, you've not only shown that you're very bright, you've demonstrated that you're hardworking, intellectually curious, and eager to make the most of what this great university has to offer. You've also shown that you have a great sense of humor, like to have fun, and care about serving others. 
you embody the balance that makes Binghamton University such a great place to study, learn, and work. It's been a pleasure to have you as our students. Congratulations on your many accomplishments, and I ask that in the coming years, you please stay in touch with us and keep us informed of the many, many contributions that are yet to come. Congratulations, class of 2022. And now, it's my pleasure to return to the podium Associate Dean Shelley Dion. Shelley? Thank you, Provost Neiman. I would now like to invite President Stenger back to the podium to present our honorary degree recipient. Honorary degrees recognize individuals who, by their outstanding service to the university, the state, the country, and humanity, exemplify the mission and purposes of Binghamton University. Their lives and achievements stand as an inspiration to us all. I am pleased to announce this afternoon that we will confer one of these honorary degrees. Provost Neiman, will you please escort our honorary degree recipient to the podium, Robert Swan. Provost Neiman, could you please read the citation? It would be my pleasure. The State University of New York, Robert Holmes Swan, as a distinguished alumnus and innovative leader of several prominent corporations, you have shaped the technology world. You've held leadership positions at General Electric, the Auto Parts Aerospace and Defense Company, TRW, the IT services firm, EDS, eBay, and the private equity and investing firm, General Atlantic. Hired by Intel as the CFO in 2016, you went on to serve as its CEO from 2019 to 2021, and you are now an operating partner at Andreessen Horowitz. Your contributions to, Bingham, to the Binghamton University School of Management West Coast Advisory Council and the Binghamton University Campaign Steering Committee will have substantial effects for years to come. For all these accomplishments, as well as those to come, the State University of New York is proud to present you with the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State University Board of Trustees, with the faculty of the State University of New York concurring, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters and invest you with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. In token thereof, I will hand you a diploma and vest you with a hood appropriate to your degree. Good afternoon, and thank you, President Stenger, Provost Neiman, Associate Dean Dion, for such a kind introduction. When I actually hear it written, it reminds me that I was incapable of holding down a job for very long. I hope you all have better success than I did. Congratulations to all of you, today's graduates and their families. I am both honored and humbled to share the stage with all of you. I truly appreciate Binghamton University for bestowing on me this honorary doctorate degree. I only wish Dean Dillon were here to celebrate with us. We have all benefited from his passion and wisdom over the years, and his presence is sorely missed. 37 years ago, when I received my MBA from Binghamton University School of Management, 
I never dreamed that I would be standing here again in a robe on this stage at a graduation accepting another degree. For that matter, I never imagined that I would have been fortunate and capable enough to sit at an executive level in any Fortune 500 company, let alone five of them. It just goes to show that anything is possible and you should all be dreaming very big. As a graduate of the business school, I'm aware of the academic rigor, the quality of the faculty, the enriching experiences that make a diploma from this university something to be extremely proud of. Binghamton University has come a long way since my days on campus, and today is one of the top public schools in the nation. The School of Management continues to climb up the annual rankings of top business schools and one of the top 10 among public schools today. I am confident that your experiences here on campus over the last four years will serve you well as you embark on the next stage of your journey. And what a four years it has been. Today is not the culmination of a typical four years of university life. The challenges and adversity you have faced have been unprecedented. For the rest of your life, people will ask you, what was your college experience like? What was the climate on campus? What topics dominated the headlines of the time? From a historical perspective, over the course of the 20th century, Students on campus were affected by a global influenza pandemic in the early part of the century. They debated two world wars, a cold war, regional wars in Korea, Vietnam, and Iraq, among others. They fought for and protested against social injustices and the plight of African Americans and women's rights. They experienced roaring inflation in the late 70s with interest rates of 20%, followed by a deep recession in the early 80s. And in the latter part of the century, they witnessed the collapse of the Soviet Union and the fall of the Berlin Wall, laying the groundwork for terms like globalization, offshoring, and optimized supply chains that have had a profound impact on domestic and global economies. But all those were over the course of a century. As a student on campus over the last four years, you have seen it all. A global pandemic sheltering us in our dorms and homes, claiming the lives of over a million people in the US. A pandemic that tipped global economies into one of the deepest but fortunately one of the shortest recessions in history. You've witnessed geopolitical challenges pitting democracy against autocracy, which contributed to the Russian invasion of Ukraine and a US-China trade war. Social injustices and protest have shaken the nation, and we are witnessing the highest inflation in 40 years, stoking fears of a looming recession, despite the lowest unemployment rates in 50 years. As the former CEO of one of the larger public companies in the world, I can attest that these have been unprecedented times. But while the challenge of the last four years have been monumental, we have also seen the power of resiliency. We've seen countries, companies, universities, and individuals respond to this un unprecedented set of challenges in amazing and inspiring ways. The COVID pandemic resulted in the fastest vaccine development in history and close to 12 billion doses administered globally. With the Russian-Ukraine invasion in Ukraine, we've seen the power of the Ukrainian spirit. We've seen a coordinated response by NATO and a worldwide humanitarian effort unfold. We've witnessed the first black American woman elected as Vice President of the United States, 
and the first black woman confirmed to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. We have also witnessed the rapid development and distribution of new technologies that enabled us to keep a global world connected and humming while working and studying from home. You have experienced a century of adversity in your time here on campus. Your experiences have required flexibility, adaptation, compassion, creativity, and resiliency. These qualities will serve you well in your next chapter. You will be entering both a turbulent and a very exciting world, a world of imperfections and a world of challenges. Do not be discouraged by the roadblocks or daunted by the possibilities. Adversity creates opportunities to be great, and each and every one of you are equipped for the challenges that lie ahead. My experience on campus at Binghamton University was an extremely important foundation for the last 37 years of my life. But the start was a little rocky. When I was in your seat, it wasn't clear to me what I wanted to do. I had no job. I had a staggering amount of student debt that I didn't think was possible to repay. But I knew I had a great education and, and a desire and a belief that I could, in some small way, have an impact on some team. And at the time and over the course of my career, I've often found myself thinking, I wish someone would have told me this or told me that to supplement my time on campus and better prepare me for the real world. So I thought I would share with, you, share with you some thoughts that may or may not be helpful along your personal and professional journeys. First, a positive spirit is contagious. We live in a world full of imperfections and there are endless opportunities to improve things. Every interaction you have is an opportunity to make a positive impact on a person, a team, a company, an industry, and maybe even the world. Illuminating problems and or wallowing in them is not nearly as helpful nor as fun as solving them. Be a source of energy, be part of the solution. Second, Teamwork and the diversity of teams yield better outcomes. Early in my career, I tended to hire people that thought like me, but it impeded the overall team's performance. A basketball team does not need five point guards. Once I began to surround myself with people who had different perspectives, different backgrounds, different experiences, the whole of the team's performance was much greater than the sum of the individuals making up the team. A diverse team and environment where everyone can contribute to their fullest abilities is very powerful. Great teams, great team players illuminate the greatness in others. Be a great, be a great team player and make each team you join better as a result of your presence on it. Third, Practice intellectual curiosity. Learning is a continuous process, and intellectual curiosity will accelerate both your knowledge accumulation and your contributions. Early in my career, there came a point when I was beginning to think that I was the smartest person in the room. God forbid. But the reality was, the more I spoke, the less I listened. In my opinion, the smartest person in the room is the one who is both contributing and learning the most. Be a continuous learner. Fourth, leave it all on the field. At the end of the day, you want no regrets. My career did not play out the way I anticipated. I experienced a bankruptcy, a hostile takeover, activist investors, and a company split. 
all that's resulted in the need for me to find a new job. The reality is shit happens. In the course of your career, you want to be able to say that I did everything possible in the quest to be great at whatever it is you choose to do. Leave exhausted and feeling great about the role that you played. Have no regrets. Lastly, and most importantly for me, family matters. The joy that I have experienced as a husband of my incredible wife, Sandra, as a father of two wonderful children, Tim and Emily, as a son of Jim and Marcia, and a brother of eight siblings, dwarfs anything I have achieved in my professional career. These principles have served me well over the years, and I hope in some way they'll help as you chart your own path forward. Each of you in your own way can and will make the world a better place. I hope that like me, you'll be shocked and amazed by your ability to have a positive impact on the world. In closing, I'd like to thank those who have made this day happen in many ways against all odds. We would not be here today without the incredible dedication, passion, and creativity of the faculty and administration that have worked tirelessly through a global pandemic to make this day possible. And for the new graduates, please remember that education is a blessing not available to everyone. And with that blessing comes a responsibility for you, in fact, to make the world a better place. And lastly, in the words of Robert Noyce, one of the co-founders of Intel, don't be encumbered by history. Go off and do something wonderful. Congratulations again and best wishes as you chart your own path forward. Thank you, Dr. Swan, for your inspired remarks. Because of your achievement as a leader in technology and finance within some of the world's most influential companies, Binghamton University and the School of Management proudly present you with this award. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Wonderful speech. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our Alumni Association President, Scott Foyer. Scott would like to share congratulations on behalf of the Alumni Association. Thank you, Dean, and good afternoon, everyone. It's truly an honor to be here today to speak to you on behalf of the Alumni Association. First, I'd like to congratulate each of you on graduating from Binghamton University. Completing your degree was a major accomplishment which required diligence and hard work. I'm certain these characteristics will propel you on a path to success in your careers. By graduating today, you automatically become a member of Binghamton's Alumni Association and you join a great organization that will be here for you in so many ways. We offer opportunities to network with fellow alumni, both socially and for career development, engage in community service projects, attend educational programs, and much more. Our alumni network now has more than 150,000 members, and you may be surprised to hear that we have Binghamton grads in more than 100 countries around the world. Wherever you go, remember that you are an ambassador for Binghamton. Proudly wear your Binghamton shirts and hats and display your gear at home and at work. Your Binghamton experience is a great conversation starter when you meet new people. Everyone knows someone who went to Binghamton. Among our many accomplished alumni are CEOs and senior managers at leading corporations, leaders in the financial and legal industries, renowned engineers, teachers, nurses, doctors, scientists, social workers, and professionals of all kinds, as well as media personalities, movie stars, and even a United States congressman. Our global network is here for you. Take full advantage of it. Binghamton alumni want to help each other, so don't be shy about using the online alumni directory and reaching out to other Binghamton grads. Be sure to keep your directory information current. We can't tell you about our great programs and networking opportunities if we can't find you. Follow us on social media and attend alumni events in your area or here on campus. 
When you receive an email from the Alumni Association, take a minute to read it so you don't miss out on something you might enjoy. Make plans now to come back for homecoming October 7th to 9th to see your friends. Your time as a student may have concluded, but your relationship with your alma mater is meant to last your entire lifetime. Visit binghamton.edu slash alumni to learn more about what your alumni association offers. And please consider getting involved with your local chapter. It's a great way to meet new people and stay connected with Binghamton. So enjoy this day and take it all in. You've worked very hard to get here. Know that your alumni association wishes you all the success in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our student speaker, David Hatami. <laughs> David has been an outstanding student with a strong work ethic. He appreciates the quality of education he has received and is committed to contributing to the future success of the university community. At Binghamton, David distinguished himself as the president of the Student Association, where he has been advocating for and uplifting student voices for years. David is devoted to helping others and has organized projects such as the Multicultural Extravaganza, Voter Registration Drive, Housing Insecurity Town Hall, and the Lacrosse House Fundraiser. He has also spent time writing for the Pipe Dream newspaper and has spent time at, his, at Binghamton promoting student interests and highlighting the key issues affecting students' lives. Please join me in welcoming David M. Hatami. President Stenger, council members, administrators, faculty and staff, families and friends. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. These last four years, definitely not a walk in the park. I'll admit it, things have been rough. Yeah, things on campus have been rough. Classes, exams, pressure to meet friends, networking, finding a job, but hey, hopefully by the time I'm telling you this, I'll have one lined up, and so will you. But when I say rough, I don't mean just for us. I'm talking about for everyone, your siblings, parents, friends at home, people across the world. These past four years have really kicked us in the butt. National crises, political division, a rising mental health crisis, and climate change. Oh, and not to mention a pandemic. It's no secret that for humans across the globe, these past four years have been, in many ways, increasingly challenging to cope with and understand. But the message I share with you today is about something so simple and dear to my heart, yet sometimes the most difficult to stop and remember. I share with you all how I've managed to make it through these past eight semesters with nothing but endless gratitude and appreciation. Ready? All right. Have you ever had someone look at you, smile, and say, it's the little things that matter? Let me tell you, they really are right. But what does that even mean? Let's take a look at the definition. The little things. Little meaning small, things meaning stuff. It's the small objects that count, like the Rubik's Cube on my desk. No, 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 that's not right. The little things. Things as in memories. The little memories. The things we do every single day that can easily seem insignificant. But if you stop and look, if you stop and remember, they'll one day mean the world to you. Take a second to close your eyes. Try and remember your earliest memories, the simple days. Try hard. What is it you remember most? Was it the A plus you received on your quiz in second grade? Or placing first in your kindergarten spelling bee? Or was it playing outside every single day with your best friend? Feeling your mom carry you upstairs into your bed oblivious to the fact that you're secretly still awake. 
and taking long car rides in your dad's 1999 Toyota Camry on a sunny day. Now open your eyes. Look around you. You're about to graduate from Binghamton University. What do you think 10 years from now you'll remember most? Do you think it'll be that 4.0 GPA you got that one semester? Or that networking call you landed with that dude from JP Morgan? No, believe me, it won't. It'll be that first time you met your best friend at orientation. And that time you and that professor you really looked up to had that conversation about life. It'll be the time you spent the night with that girl sharing songs on Spotify while being snowed in. And the time you stayed up all night with your roommates discussing the uncertainty of the future. And that one time you performed in front of an entire crowd in the Mandela Room. Prestige, job interviews, and high grades are great, but they don't live through memory as strongly as you may think and will always fade as you navigate the trials and tribulations of earthly life. But the little things, those you'll remember. It's how you'll remember your college experience, and it's what will matter most to you once you finally made it in life. You know you'll always have the little things, and they'll always have you. Now with this in mind, my fellow classmates, I urge you to remember, as you enter the next stages of your lives, don't dwell on things that may be left out of your control. Don't worry if you don't get that job right away or that nice apartment in the city, or if you didn't get accepted into that grad program you applied to. You're not alone. Remember what you do have and why, despite it all, you're one of the luckiest people to have stepped foot onto this rock we call home. Because at the end of the day, you won't be remembered for the job titles you held or the income bracket you reached or the number of grueling years you worked, people will remember the acts of kindness you put out into the world and the way you made them feel when you were around them. As we enter the real world in a few weeks, things can get scary. With the pandemic going on, political disarray around the world, and the North Pole literally melting, there's reason to be afraid sometimes. But regardless of it all, you'll always have the little things, and they'll always have you. Find solace in yourself and in your path ahead. Enjoy the moments you have exploring new cities, meeting new friends, and learning new things. Trust me, it's all about the little things. You may forget about them now and then, but if you remember and look hard enough, they'll always be there waiting for you once again. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, David, for your remarks. That was terrific. At this time, this is about you. We will recognize the accomplishments of our baccalaureate degree candidates. Before we do that, we will first recognize the students who have achieved Latin honors. Latin honors are based on a student's cumulative grade point average. We recognize three levels of achievement, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. The names of the candidates for these honors appear in the commencement program. We will not announce each by name, but we shall recognize students attending today by having them stand in place. Candidates graduating cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. Candidates graduating magna cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. Candidates graduating summa cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. Terrific. My congratulations to all of you on your outstanding academic achievements. President Stenger, 
As the Associate Dean of the School of Management, I am pleased to present to you these candidates who have fulfilled all their baccalaureate degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. Student Marshal Raquel Shapiro and School Marshal George Babinski, please lead the first group of candidates to the platform so all may receive recognition for their academic achievement. Raquel Brianna Shapiro. Ariel Tillman. Lindsay Dara Katz. Gianna Naez Kochi. Joy Elise Panacek. Drew Furlong. James Morris. Brian Cosgrove. Maxwell Weist. Zachary Nolden. Tyler Monroe. Taylor Blair O'Gorman. Hao Zhao. Julia Nicole Carlson. Matthew Joseph LaBarbara. Allison Lee Giordano. Sefi Hack. Roshan Apurva Duve. Connor Matthew Daly. Michael John Alva. Joshua Starling. John Roderick Cowley. Erica Carajales. Kaylee Isabella Sanabria. Paul Edward Lubici. Mark Andrew Zalta. Zachary Joseph Ansel. Corin Corendian. David Jeremy Corendian. Brian Beringer. Madeline Rose Murray. McKenna Christine Lesner. <laughs> Kathleen Kearney. Georgiana Elizabeth Rice. Sophia Louise Leveroni. Kara Emily Dubin. Megan Delaney. Khan Lin Ha Nguyen. Sung Ku Kwan. <laughs> Ye Yong Yeni Kim. Zachary Julian Reich. Jacob Tobias Smigel. Jonathan Evan Kirsch. Ariel Rose Sternberg. Yakir Saknovitz. Isaac Snaija Benesra. Nicholas Michael Esposito. Christopher Luke Giuliani. Jaylene Marin. Jenna Nicole Friedman. Lee Rose O'Shea. Jenna Ko. Julia Klepadlo.
Chloe Bella Sikathko. Adam Evans. Dennard Brahimash. Ava Isabella Prakna. Isabella Lee Martinez. Marisa Jenna Kufeld. Noam Irving Fox. Dane Jacob Katz. Do you have your card? Dove Zachary Schuch. Abigail Inez Wagner. Simone Finkelstein. Bailey Ty Berkland Ryan. That's my friend! Zachary Austin Halperin. Yes, Nicole Sue. Vincent Huang. Adrian Marino Erasso. James Russo. Theresa Beth Alarcon. Jacob Samuel Hakaiser. Christopher Michael Sukechi. Stephen Henry Quinlevin. Don Yanotai Chavavit. Mark Vladimir Stein. Gabriel Stephen Glahe. Julia Demola. Kyle Chung. Jarvis Ma. Sandra Cho. Jasmine Q. Lee. Aaron Moy. Danny Yang. Annabelle He. Noel Shitwe Cheng. Eric Young. Daniel Jeter Hughes. Justin Thomas Lupo. Michael James Conley Jr. Patrick Joseph Conley. Joseph Craig Mendrick. Kyra Milagros Farfan Rebata. Shruti Sati. Carissa Ann Vargas. Elise Haley Weigman. Nicole Haley Kosinki. Kyle Buff. Michael Paul Travesini. Vikram Kumar. Hoi Lam Chan. Cody Allen Brissett. Samantha Merritt. Rachel Mary Bergson. Nicole Veronica Scudero. Diego Sebastian Hollis. Tyler Michael Chickles. Jeremy Shire. Henry Thomas Burnett. Mira Beverly Phillips. Caroline Bridget Neville. Taylor Marine James. Mackenzie Catherine Donahue. Christina Papadopoulos. Matthew Raymond Iberger. Alexis Randy Shapiro. Phoebe McLendon. Kyle Forberg. 
Lauren Davini. Ethan James Foster. Aiden Paul Brazier. Andrew Rafferty. Thomas Cornaccio. Timothy Rodriguez. Richard Joseph Traficanda III. Kyle Kirkowski. Cole DeCastro. Matthew Donnarumma. Brianna Eichenstein. Dylan Roth. Simon Paul Cyber. Dimitra Krico. Ethan Villa Huerte. Kate Emmaline Chung. Raj Paresh Shah. Jiang Ying Lin. Aaron Daly. Catherine Rose Marin. Stella Louise Schoenberg. Colum Daniel McCormick. Ariel Tamorim. Cole Jacob Feldman. Shadi Kandakar. Robert Stenrad. Christian Ramirez. Yovina Bodnare. Tyler Alex Cohen. Domenica Jaramillo. Nicholas Alexander DiPietro. David Jacob Paracal. Hunter Thomas Burton. Carson Hodder. Brian Robert McAfee. Douglas George Fuchs, Jr. Sean Joseph Maiko. John Mancusi. Jordan Lichtenstein. Frank Victor Porcassi. Kyron Drummond Rose. Julian Rene Alegre. Ross Alexander Mesnick. Alexander Edward Bange. William Francis Ellis. Carol Cabrera. Anthony Di Mayuda. Ruby Shao. Yalen Stephanie Miranda. Stephanie Chin. Tyler John Allenson. Tyler Jordan Kamen. Luke Copertino. Eden John Farr. Hugh Owens. Alexander Fremer. Michael Stanko. Krishnam Kirti Patel. Matthew William Korsik. Justin Thomas Long. Donovan Carney. Benjamin Chase Klein. Zoe Handelman. 
Madison Stevie Gold. Amir Persitz. Benny Shu. Justin Nicholas Cabrera. Carter James Ling. Alexandra Isabel Barkin. Emily Julia Kogan. Dia Patel. Maxim Sorokin. Natalie Babalis. Carolyn Ray Album. Livia Kayla Zarge. Nathan Klausner. Guri Mosh Hecht. Andrew Michael Dennis. Corey Goncher. Thomas Francis Dillon. Kyle Christian Brandstetter. Kevin Thomas Carton. Armando Smith. Sam Bellio. Sean Patrick Trainer. Paul Jeffrey Kalensi. Jordan Elizabeth Taylor. Belen Antonietta Mariaga. Trent we Ray Weschler. Matthew Elias Minkowitz. Victoria Graymes. Rochelle Graymes. Megan Hugh. Ian Burns. Moises Reyes. Evan Pantelopoulos. Amanda Danielle Loeffler. Nicholas Jerry D'Onofrio. Eileen Weckeser. William Yu. Mark Slavin. Ryan J. Zawatsky. Jared Andrew Mogul. Justin Adam Kashkin. Matthew Zafonte. Christopher Hitchborn. Tyler Brandon Johnson. Vivian Santana. Harry Basham. Ryan Thomas Evans. Ethan Niles Homler. Luke John Petrosori. Seth Daniel Friedberg. Kano Tavolaro. Peter John Candelora. Nikita Alexander Afanasiev. Thomas James Kaprowitz. Harry Conrad Schoenberg. Matthew Tyler Barbary. Eli Cameron Lloyd. Gabriel Castro Sabari. Justin Paul Ruffy Magalona. Joshua Marzen Viarge. Gavin Simon. Anthony Arias. Jessica Rudolph. 
Erica Jennifer Shibahara. Matthew Joseph Stetz. Camden Scott Conklin. Eddie Sabaj. Benjamin Liam Ben Veldner. Ryan Meyerly. Kelly O'Shea. Emily Victoria Hedquist. Calvin Lewis Torkelson. Nicholas Alexander Farber. Dominic Santoro. Jake David Solomon. Michael Linarello. Thomas Costa. Daniel Zeigler. John Lezik. Audrey Liu. Caitlin Chang. Sakirjan Ergashev. Christine Ngo. Brandon Jean Park. Alison Cabrera. Jason Chen. River Force. Michael Kagan. Matthew Jacob. Brian Tyler Luke. William Edward Chu. Hyunjun Shin. Samuel Ann. Uichen Shi. Jin Hyu. Yu Dao. Yushen Chen. Scott Michael Wandner. Derek William Sheps. Zachary Patlin. Joshua Scott Schaefer. Jared Brian Lake. Elon Evan Elgavish. Nicholas Matthew Manino. Phelan Ray Duffy. Katrina Chan. Queenie Chen. Justin David Murray. Michael Dimitri Balitsos. Emily Louise Gregory. David Mohammed Hatami. Olivia Hoy Lee. Emily Lin. Yixing O. Oh. Amber Chu. Amy Leanne. Angela Chen. Quan Sub Yun. Dragon Peng. Patrick Philip. Farin, Brian Wong, Ziyu Pan, Caitlin Chen, Sherry Jang, Mary Eileen Liberty, Liana Neha Joes Mulumkuyao. Ethan Cooper Stone. Claire Teresa Iriarte. Alvi Chowdhury. 
Maximus Finero McGannon. Nicole Ariel Kisos. Gregory Paul Scolieri. Anthony Edward Sebravia Miguel. Matthew John Kafel, Caleb. Mia Marie Kaleo. Brian Catherine Scheffler Naylor. Sunali Meta. Serafina Marie Wazelis. Brandon C. Jason Breezy. Pedrin Pedro Edson Oliveira Cauto. Marie Stella Nana Ousu Forfier. Jaden Joseph Gill. Alexa Cole. Alyssa Chimet Chilemi. Gabriella Rose Cohn. Alexa Ray Siegel. Sophia Rose Marola. Daniela Yafa Balakane. Daniela Posilico. Serena Robbins. Barry Zhang. Amy Young. Ryan Wayne Liu. Aaron Victoria Wynn. Rebecca Mosney. Yeah, Rebecca! Aaron Ann McMorrow. Eliza Resutova. William Matthew Rodriguez. Giancarlo Antonio Mertz. Justin Allen. Rocky, Mar Rocky Marvikov. Tal Kopman. Max Schwartz. Ellie Barsby. Adam Borbia. Cameron Cash Rashkin. James Christopher Lynch. Grant Lipton Nicholas Schwartz. Grant Michael O'Hara. Winnie Tam. Priscilla Chen. Nicholas Ralph Kamoya. Anthony Vincent Cassano. Emily Garavuso. Robert Joseph LeBlanc. Stephanie Hay. Nina Hai Yuk Zhang. Michael Shen. Vivian Guan. Titiana Koraima Contreras. Mevish Khan. Tanner Elliot McCaffrey. Nolan James Crean. Joseph Andrew Meagle. Deanna Mohammed Katib. Ariel Matthias Almonte. Ipshita Bushan. Tri Hong Nguyen. Emily Isabel Go. Benjamin Ryan Decker. John Franco Pulisi. Ming Zeng.
Anthony Simeone. Vin Vincent Speciale. Irene Cayenne. Emily Zhang. Johan Yang. Kelvin Shu. Zimu Yang. Shulin Yu. Nicolette Page Napoli. Olivia D'Angelo. Allison Michelle Galkin. Bradley Michael Hayes. Aiden Smith. Jake Lomadicho. Evan Thomas Ryan. Justin Alexander Gordon. Jake Matthew Abish. Daniel Ryan Merlis. Garrett Sean Handel. Justin Scott Snyder. Scott Cohen. Brett Aaron Klein. Hui Young. Wang. Corden Conrad John Brzezinski. Ido Abdan. Evan Zingyi Zhang. Spencer Joseph Ruthkowski. Matthew Bryan. Andrew Bell. Tengu Chen. Lingning Gao. Han Fu. Yu Ying Wang. Shikun Hong. Austin Olson. John Kingsley Zerkley. Brandon Indiana Liu. Aiton Wiernick. Dylan Jonathan Cohen. Philip Cashman. Frank Sayeg. Jean Robert Alvarez. William Miata. Benjamin Logan Brightstein. Sophie Brooke Rothman. Ruby Levine. Aaron Nicole Patterson. Jackie Fine. Stephanie Chan. Pae Nieves. Liam Blake Johnson. Thomas Ashton McKenna. Manav Bhatia. Matthew Wong. William Lin. Hebin Lee. Keith Edward Pfeiffer. Linda Lee Zhu. Alexander Upislasis. Matthew Lesquadro. Do Yun Kim. Austin Robert Nistico.
At this time, we will recognize the accomplishments from the School of Management's METU Dual Degree Diploma Program. This year, <laughs> this year marks the 15th graduating class from the Binghamton University Middle Eastern Technical University Dual Degree Program. President Stanger, as Associate Dean of the School of Management, I am pleased to present to you these candidates who have fulfilled all their baccalaureate degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. Will the students from the dual degree program please rise at this time? The METU dual degree diploma candidates will come to the platform so they may receive recognition for their achievement. Akin Alp. Malikan Junet Arslan. AJ Aydemir. Enver Baran Kezgin. Ero Kukner. Yaren Sanjak. Beste Bashkan. I would now like to ask everyone to rise as they're able as we sing the Binghamton University alma mater. We invite everyone to join in singing the refrain in the second verse. The lyrics may be found on the back cover of the commencement program. Everyone else may be seated. President Stenger, I am honored to present to you these candidates for the baccalaureate degree by the university. For those who have successfully completed all degree requirements by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I confer on each of you the appropriate baccalaureate degree with the rights and privileges accompanying it. On behalf of the Binghamton University community, I congratulate you for this well-earned accomplishment. As is customary, upon conferral of the baccalaureate degree, you may now move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, parents, partners, and friends, I present to you the Binghamton University School of Management graduating class of 2022! As a final note, if you're missing a pair of sunglasses, it may have fallen on the stage. Please contact us. The spring commencement proceedings of the State University of New York at Binghamton are now concluded. We kindly ask the audience to remain seated for the academic recessional. Once the academic recessional is completed, please exit as soon as you are able.